Hey guys. guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So for this week's video, I have a special guest. He's making a return. Do you want to introduce yourself? What's up, guys? I know it's been a minute since you saw this beautiful, handsome face on your screen. Um, it's self-made Mo, Mo, Maurice, man of many names. So I think yeah. I did that same. I do. <laughs> Everybody, I'm Mo, Maurice, self-made Mo. You know, man with many names. He gonna let that go to his head. Uh, Anyways, we're back with another video. So for this week's video, we're going to do do's and don'ts. Spell house. Spell edition. house. I know. Oh, we got. We got to do the thing. We got to do the thing. Oh, wait, I do this. Ah. Yeah. What is that? Uh, a thumbnail. Thumbnail, thumbnail, ah! <laughs> I like that, okay. Anyways, so let's just, you know, hop right in. All right, the cool. first do that I have is to take advantage of your free time. Yes. Because in college, you have a lot of free time because you do make your own schedule and you have more time than you actually think. So use that time wisely. Like, yeah, it's fun to hang out with your friends and it's fun to take naps and everything, but there's a time for everything and make sure your work is in your time. Right. I would say, don't, this is especially for the ladies, but gentlemen too, don't walk alone at night, especially on the promenade. It's like, yeah, there's a lot of, like, a little different. there was just a report that somebody was following some girls from, a group of girls from Spelman the other day. And so, ladies, make a, a friend from, a guy from Morehouse, um, fellows from Morehouse, always walk, the, especially when you're at the library, Club Lloydy, like, you know, it's open <laughs> to like, what, midnight? Yeah. Walk the ladies back to campus is you we literally pass our campus to walk the spellman so it's not that big of a deal come on now okay and our second do is to go out and explore atlanta but yes. take your time with it because yes. there's a lot to do and don't spend all your money like in the first semester but also don't stay cooped up in your dorm room because then your college experience is not going to be fun like yeah we're in atlanta but we're like 10 minutes from downtown and there's so much right. to do and you just have to go out and explore and try right. Also, learn the MARTA system because Uber's really be taxing for real. We still haven't learned the system, but we still that's haven't learned for it. But we're gonna do we're gonna do it. Yeah. 2022, we come yeah, different. Yeah, we, we definitely will. Yeah. Next, don't we have is don't be fake. Don't be fake. Don't what like, is it? Fugazi? Don't be Fugazi. <laughs> Fugazi? You've never heard Fugazi? No. Uh, they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're anyway, not. Uh, because your fakeness will only last but for so long, and when people find out who you really are. You're just gonna have less people in your circle. So be who you are. You'll make the friends that are intended for you. Exactly. So don't try to put on a front. And a lot of people right. can see right through the front. So. It's very obvious. Yeah. It's very obvious. It's, just be yourself. Yeah, it's people not. People love either. authenticity. That part. Be yourself and be honest. Do. Do participate in school events and clubs and activities. Like you're here, yes, you're here to get an education, so you might as well make the most out of it. Go have fun. We're in college. You only get to go to college one time in your life. Well, I mean, you can't go back, oh, but you only. God willing. God willing. Really, really but the way to wish is set up. <laughs> but yeah, and make the most out of it. You're here. You know, it's a great way to make friends and uh, find things you're also passionate about. Like. You know, there's a film club. Join SGA if you're into like politics and stuff. Just make the most of the time while you're here. And that's also a way to make a lot of friends. Yes. Because sometimes I know it can be hard, especially with COVID. Like you're not talking to like every single person and you have a lot of masks on. So when you do have the chance to like find a group of people with similar interests as you, that's a great way to make friends. Plus networking. Yes. yes that's that's a lot of that's a lot of how networking happens in college especially at morehouse and spelman it's through events where you meet people because you know there's these big like at&t hosted an event like there was a dating scholarship and stuff and that was at the carnival so networking is very huge in atlanta okay so the next do is traveling groups not only just at night but in general because yes. atlanta is not the safest city so not at all. don't be traveling alone and it's also expensive like like Very we said expensive. the ubers and lyfts are not cheap so you split want you want to split it you want to split it but it's more fun when you have more people and it's also like a safety thing just right. definitely travel, travel groups. groups don't oh, listen don't compare yourself you're going to be surrounded by a lot of different types of individuals some might be way more ahead than where you think you should be in life 
it's run your focus on yourself and stay in your own lane like i felt victim to this at first because i'm an artist so it's like i'm comparing my art to other people's art because i'm like i'm a photographer so i know this guy who got his photography in like magazines and he was doing fashion shows and stuff and it really just like messes with your self-confidence and it can really give you like imposter syndrome like you don't belong there trust me you do just focus on yourself be the best version you can be and continue to be great yeah and to add on to that what god has for you is for you Amen. and especially being at these top schools like you know Spelman is the number one HBCU oh and my it, is, it is definitely it's highly so competitive. Spelman of you like you can't go nowhere with somebody from Spelman without them mentioning that they're the number hey, one now, HBCU because, oh my god you know we're just great but that being Whatever. said it's definitely it does feel competitive and sometimes we can fall victim to imposter syndrome but there is a place for you at Spelman um, and you can find your mark there's a lot of people with your same interest but there's only one you so use that to your advantage and don't get caught up in what other people are doing and focus on the track that you are on because the more time you spend worried about someone else's life you're missing out on all the stuff you can do in your own life right. do go to club woody no just kidding club it's, woody. it's not a club but woody is so in the auc we only have one library and it's on clark and it's woodruff something i don't even know the like name of it some Hold on, let's look it up. Yeah, it's, it's actually, it has a name, but everyone just refers to it as Woody. And the reason why some people say it's Club Woody is because it's definitely, it's like a social hour. There's during, certain times. On the weekends, it's great for studying. Robert, during the day, it's Robert good. W. Woodruff Library. Okay. I've never heard that before. I've always Robert called it Woody. W. Woodruff, Woodruff Library, yes. Yes. Or Woody for short. So, yeah. But definitely take advantage of that because there's a lot of librarians there. The great way to go for group projects. We have a lot of rooms there. We got a booth for all the music, all the music majors, all the singers, songwriters, yeah. rappers. There's the whole studio. You know, all the filmmakers and stuff. They have editing software. They have Adobe Premiere. They have the entire Adobe suite, and they have Final Cut Pro. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm nerding out a little bit here. But, um, also, um, there's a there's a librarian for each major so take advantage of the resources especially when you're writing a paper the librarian is your best friend they are super friendly and they're open late at night so when you you know when you're procrastinating which you shouldn't be but you got a paper due at midnight Club Woody is the place to go I'm telling you whatever resources you need you will find there yeah there's a there's something for everyone and also like when you do go to Woody so it doesn't feel like a club reserve a room yes like because when you get a study room yes. then it's more closed off and you can really focus now it depends on who's in your room so you know you got to make sure you're traveling with people who you know you're gonna get work done because I know sometimes when I'm with my friends I do my work before I go to Woody because exactly. I just know it's not gonna work they out. call it Club Woody for a reason yeah that's the, that's the hangout spot in the AUC especially make sure late night. you get your work done before but if you're gonna do your work get a room go to the third floor or just go on a time when it's not as Ooh, busy and especially during midterms and finals week you got to reserve those rooms early they fill up they fill up like and people are quick to throw you out so yes yes they're like oh i have this reserve, reserve uh, room reserved <laughs> at on. one o'clock it's like it's like 12 55 they try and kick you out five minutes early yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. crazy <laughs> also woo, don't rely on the shuttle don't rely on the AUC shuttle. It is so inconsistent. Like they tell you, oh, we have an, like, look, the idea is great. The idea of a shuttle, you know, going around the AUC, it's great. Now, yeah. putting that idea into action, <laughs> on the other hand, is not good because the shuttle always breaks down, is always late. Um, yeah, it doesn't always match the map. Or it's like whenever you need to go north, like north is how you get to the to the library. Right. It's always the south, the south. It's road. always southbound. Yeah, I don't know like, why. And no one's going to the west end so the only time you should ride the shuttle is when the library closes the shuttle is always there on time that's like the only time it's on time yeah because they'd be quick to leave you you gotta run to catch the shuttle Listen, when they're about real. to close that's that's the only time you because the really bus driver's trying to get off for real yeah. they're trying to finish their shift but you're better off just walking especially if you listen to us before and travel in groups yeah it's not that bad of a walk and if you're coming from Spelman, we usually just go through Morehouse and then Clark is right there. This is a very big do. Very do big. build your relationship with God. Yes. Especially being in a new environment. We're in college and you know, you know listen. how college people be. <laughs> especially, like, listen, especially the city of Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you struggle with or attempt it with, you will find in Atlanta. Trust me. <laughs> Trust and believe it. It's, it's in Atlanta. Yeah. 
that devil always if yes. you're working he this also goes working. with the friend group find a good godly friend group who will encourage you and motivate you to still pursue after god yeah. because and hold you accountable and too. hold you accountable That's, because that is very important yeah. when you get to college there's so much freedom in college you don't have to rely on your parents as much mm -hmm. and you really can do whatever you want to if you want so it's very important to focus on your relationship with god and be attentive to holy spirit's voice yeah and especially like when you were saying like since we're on our own like we're building into our own faith like we're not just latching onto our parents faith right because i know sometimes that can be hard because like we're feeding into what our parents taught us which is great it's a it's a nice like intro to christ but it's not it's not our relationship right so make sure you're building that strong relationship so you can strengthen that and when you do hear the holy spirit you know what it is and you're listening to it exactly. speaking of which a good way to have form a good golly group of individuals at college is going to tlr oh my goodness the living room oh you want to explain what the living room is basically so there's a church called buckhead church and they do this monday night service college ministry but yeah it's for college students only and it's in the atlanta area so we have we have the auc we have gsu we have georgia, georgia tech, tech. Emory, Emory, Agnes Scott, Agnes like all the like, colleges in Atlanta. Yeah, and you get to meet a lot of different people. So like beyond just like our circle of friends at like in the AUC. And this is like, we have like a worship service and then- we Break in the small yeah, groups. Yeah, we, we do small groups at the end, but we also like, we always have a word, but it's like, you didn't realize you were really just listening to a word. You're no, just like, for real. Cause on. the way Matt preaches, <laughs> Matt, my boy yeah, Matt, like, oh my goodness. Uh, this guy is anointed for real. He knows he how to fresh reach. fresh with the kicks too. You see he always got a fresh new like, pair of kicks too. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So yes, definitely take advantage of TLR. And they also provide transportation and a meal and too. Yes, a that free part, meal. That part. Woo. That part. Because you know, being in college it'd be hard and the calf is not it's not hitting. And it's also you yeah. meet like other individuals within the AUC who are also like focused like Christ minded as well. So you guys see each other on campus all the time. And that's a yeah. great way to make friends. I've definitely met some new Spellman like friends. I made some new Spellman sisters that I didn't even know, but we all went to TLR and we just started exactly. talking and now we we always like sit on the bus together we're always sitting at the table together and then we're talking about it. and some of us are in the same small groups and i never would have known if i didn't go to tlr exactly. and i think also this is a great place for people who are just interested in christ or who originally just didn't believe it's a very it's, welcoming yeah experience. it's welcoming it's safe and you'll feel god's presence and you're gonna have fun too when yeah. i tell you it's the most honestly when highlight I, of my freshman oh no freshman <laughs> It was a highlight of my semester, hey, uh, fall semester. Aren't that bad. Highlight of my fall semester. Definitely.